you know, I hate to say this. Y'all know I hate to say this because I love these girls. But dare I say that I kind of don't miss the other sisters being on the show. Y'all dumb. Y'all walking away from y'all own damn show. Y'all better come on back. Come on back. You know, I understand why you left. But you got people on here that's making the damn show. And if they stay on here long enough, because all of them are likable in their own way. They stay on here long enough, and they're going to take over y'all damn show. The show's going to be called uh, 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 Tracy's Fitness Camp. Y'all, and Tawanda, she doing live videos saying, oh, how um, disappointed she was to see um, the whole christening. And they wasn't invited, apparently, to the christening, um, to the, uh, uh, Tracy's grandbaby. And so apparently they wasn't invited or they didn't know about it or whatever the issue. And it's just like, well, why the hell should I tell you? We're not talking. So, I mean, but, you know, then again, apparently they said they knew. I don't know. I don't know what's going on with that. But, you know, nobody's buying it. For the most part, everybody's taking Tracy's side. And I think they're shocked by that. Um, I saw on Bossip, on the little show Bossip, they're going to have a sneak peek of Braxton Family Values talking to Ayala. Now, Tamar has said on Twitter, the episode haven't aired yet. Sorry about the glitches. But Tamar has said on Twitter that Ayala didn't do nothing but make it worse. The whole sister situation. So, I don't know. And I saw that the mama was there too. I felt like they should leave the mama out of the situation. And, and just talk as, as sisters but that's just me I mean she is a part of the show I understand it but there should be like a separate section with the mama and the rest of them and then she go in another room and then it's just the sisters but maybe it is like that you know they haven't aired the show we don't know the date of the show but you know it, it should be interesting but um, according to Tamar on Twitter because she puts everything on social media According to Tamar, um, Ayala did not fix anything. So, I don't know. We'll see. But getting on with this episode, I've talked too much anyway. They, um, at Dr. Takaya's little camp, we got Lunell, Phaedra Braxton, Natalie Nunn. I'm sorry. <laughs> Lunell, Phaedra Parks. Oh my gosh. Natalie Nunn, Tracy Braxton. Um, her friend Nikki, who I love, I love Nikki. Nikki is hilarious. They should have been had Nikki on the show, but Nikki is a big personality, and that would take away from the other big personalities on the show, like I tell you, Mark Braxton. She seems like she's very, you know, I can bring my little add-ons on the show, but can't nobody else do it, you know? Like if she was in charge, you know? I don't know. I saw some scenes of um Tamar coming out with a show on BET. Um. Yeah, some kind of show. So I mean, uh, I guess she's gonna be like a judge or something on a singing show. And as much as I love Tamar, I would not want to be a part of a show that she's a part of, where she's like a judge judging me, like singing or anything. Only because she's shady. It's like you can't. It's hard to tell with her whether something is constructive criticism or whether it's a shady comment sometimes just based on um how she acts and stuff um and just what i've seen you know in the past but whatever but you know super duper talented we all know that okay so anyway dr takai he got all the women's together this is funny as hell um and you know he uh, this is the first day of the look camp situation um and all the ladies seem to get along well um and he sat them down, told them what they're going to be doing. And a part, apparently a part of this whole process at first, there's this whole thing of um, he has four major rules that you cannot break. The first rule is no talking back. Lunell said, I'm out. <laughs> I can't do it. I got to say something back. Um, the second rule is no junk food. Natalie Nunn was just like, I love me some junk food. What's going on with that? The third question, the third uh, thing was no alcohol. They so showed the scene of Tracy Braxton turning up while she was there. 
And then the fourth um, uh, thing they must do is just trust the process. Trust that it'll work. Okay. So, um, Nikki, she has a crush on Dr. Takaya. She says that he is the um, the finest, ugliest man that she done seen. And she really wants the doctor. I was just like, I cannot. Um, okay, so he starts to talk about um, the crucible. Which is um, three days of, of hell, basically just an obstacle course. And they all have to help each other, and that's like going to be at the end. Um, and it, it's, it's, it looks, you know, some military type of stuff. <sighs> Y'all notice where he comes from. Excuse me, child, I'm tired. Um, so, yeah, uh, so he was just telling them about the whole thing, and it was just like, oh, Lord, what is it we done stepped ourselves into? Um, he did this whole test where he tested everybody's body fat percentages and, um, you know, basically, you know, just how much they weigh, all that. Um, the lady, it was a black lady that was doing, uh, Tracy's, checking her blood pressure and stuff. And, uh, Tracy's blood pressure was sky high. And she said because, you know, she's kind of mad at her sisters and she... You know, she, she's irritated. She's stressed out a lot. You know, it's just a lot that's going on right now. And she was just like, you know, um, the doctor was like, um, black women have uh, has the highest rates of uh, heart disease. And she was just like, you know, you should really, you know, just try not to stress and all that kind of stuff. And so it's, it's, it's easier said than done, stress, and believe me. That's, you know, some, some people are just worry, worry, worriers like me. Like, I'm constantly worrying. I'm constantly worrying about other people. I'm constantly worrying about, you know, my, my cousins and stuff. My little cousins, they're going to be okay in school. You know, somebody's picking on them, you know. Um, it's it's definitely a lot. Um, you know, worrying and stressing about stuff. Um, the sad part about it, I feel like I stress and worry more about other people than myself. Uh, which is not a good thing to do. I've honestly also feel like I've, I've suffered from depression low key my whole life, and I've just never really like addressed it like that. This is not about me, is it? Okay, let me get on back. So, um, yes. So you know, uh, they test all that. Uh, Lunell, you know, she went up there. He said that she's mostly fat. He but he told Lunell that you are. Uh, a walking heart attack or something he said I was just like I understand you know he, he's he's kind of what's the word he sometimes don't really know how to like deal with everybody everybody's personality and like talk to people he just has a certain way of doing things and that's his way and it's like if you don't get it or if you don't understand it you're probably going to be offended you know I don't know. Uh, so Lunell, you know, she wasn't feeling the shit. Um, she was just like, um, uh-uh, the doctor, he can be a little bit more tender, you know, and, you know, I, I just don't know, you know. She was just like, it's unfortunate because I smoked some weed and stuff before I got here and ate a big old plate of food. Tracy Braxton did the same thing. She said she cooked yams and net bones and collard greens and shit before she came in. That's some shit I would do. I would eat terrible. Eat how I've been eating up until I get to the camp, you know. I take a good old laxative the night before, you know, work me on good. Then that morning before I get to the camp, you know, I can, you know, shed it out. And, you know, uh, get my gear to get my life. So, you know, I was hollering off that. Um, I believe this was the second day or the same day, whatever. But um, he called them in there to um, basically... Uh, he was going to dip them in, in ice water, an ice bath. He says it, um, you know, just basically um, de-stresses you and, you know, just, just helps you to calm down and all that kind of stuff. I don't know how because, like Natalie said, you know, ice, you know, something that cold on your system, it feels like little needles, and it does. I mean, on your body. So, it, I'm just like... I don't I don't really know how that how dipping in ice is a de stress or or whatever. I know like a lot of athletes they have a ice bath, you know. Um maybe it calms the muscles or I don't know what it does. I haven't did my research. What does ice baths do? Um y'all tell me in the comment section. 
But yeah, um, the only two people that was able to complete it fully was um, Natalie Nunn. You know Natalie, is she's younger than the rest of them, I believe. Um, not that that matters much, but it does somewhat matter. Um, and also, um, who else completed it? Phaedra. <laughs> Phaedra liked it. it <laughs> liked it. She said, it, it feels kind of sexual to me. <laughs> Phaedra's always been funny. Phaedra's always had good one-liners. You know, you know the, the kids call her scammers. They call her fake. They say you can't trust the whoop to whoop. But can you trust any of them? Anybody on reality TV? I mean, come the hell on. Hell. It, you know, I mean, it was bad. It was awful what she did to Candy. But they all do shit to one another. So it's like, how can you put one, one sin over the other one? You know? They've, they've all done some pretty terrible things to one another. You know? Yeah. Um, okay. So, they have this scene where they do yoga. Child, this um, cute little Asian girl. And I don't know what is going on in the universe where people combine goats and yoga. They feel like, you know, the goats add a cheerful, uh, a cheerful uh, spirit to goat yoga. And that it, um... You know, it, it makes you, it brings out laughter and the good times. And you go to a cookout and laugh and have fun. I don't know why you need goats on your back and pissing and shitting everywhere. I, I don't understand how that's enjoyable. Animals riding your back, darling. Phaedra sat out. She was just like, when she saw them goats, she was just like, uh-uh. She was like, I'm from the South and I ain't got no time for this. Um, Lunell said, because she keep up with what white people do. She said that um, she knew about the goat yoga, but she said she thought the shit was stupid. Nikki said uh, white people don't ran out of ideas. <laughs> I mean, really, really, y'all. I, I, I genuinely don't see the point in that, but you know, whatever. So the the goat was climbing all over Natalie, all over Tracy. One of the goat hooves went in Tracy's ass. And, you know, uh, Pedro was just like, well, Tracy's no longer a virgin. <laughs> Y'all, it was just funny. I just laughed. I died laughing this entire episode. I enjoyed it. As much as I love the sisters, I, I enjoyed this little mini little series or whatever that's going on. I Personally. And they kind of gooped us. Because I believe last week they showed scenes that Tawanda and Tamar was going to have a conversation. They was nowhere in sight on this episode. I don't know if they cut that. I, I don't know what the hell is going on. Brass and Pella used to be honest. But y'all. Those women together. Phaedra. Nikki. Uh, Natalie. Lunell. Tracy. That's a show. That's a show. That's a whole lot of laughs. Y'all. Y'all better watch out child. Don't be too crazy. Go back and get your money. So anyway. um, Let's see. Uh, so all the ladies went back down. To, you know, they had pretty much worked out a lot of hours. And they was just like, we so damn hungry. What is going on? We as hungry as hell. They still haven't eaten. And I'm just like, what? You know, I guess. I don't really. Some of his practices, Dr. Takai is a little out there. Um, It seems like he just, there's no like weaning, you know, there's no like winding down moment. There's no like weaning yourself off of bad foods. There's no gradual process. It's just like straight from eating, you know, hot dogs, chili cheeseburgers, and onion rings to just straight lettuce. You know, like there's no gradual, you know, stepping stone or anything. It's just like boom, bad, and boom, good. You, and you're just supposed to accept it and like it. Um, I mean, you know, a lot of people just can't go cold turkey like that, you know. Um. So you know, she can't. They was all sitting down talking, having uh, fun, and uh, Natalie, you know, being a little messy. She was just like, um, "Do you are you happy uh, that you're here with us? Are you having fun? Are are we uh, better than your sisters?" And Tracy was just like, "Nobody's better than my sisters." I was like, "Good try, Natalie." Trying to make that dig in there. Um, then Sergeant Takaya came in. Lunell talking about here comes Santa Claus. <laughs> Lunell is a mess. She is that auntie to just say what the hell ever. 
Um, he came in, he started dropping stacks. He was just like, um, 73% of African American women are overweight. He said that more than half of y'all are overweight here. Uh, mostly, you know, a lot of body fat. Um, so, they finally got to eat. And it was literally noodles on the plate. Like a strip of lettuce, some nuts. I didn't know what the hell that was. I was just like, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm in the process of losing weight now. And I'm doing pretty well. Um... But even on my little weight loss plan, I actually eat food at least like I believe one portion of the day, or twice actually. I actually eat you know food, you know fish and, and vegetables, etc. So the fact that they're just eating like um, pasta and 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 tree bark and drinking olive oil juice and shit is just crazy to me. I was just like, what? Child, Dr. Takai left out that room, child. Nikki, she had some snacks, some chips, two big bags of chips. Phaedra, she had a little goodie bag of stuff. Had, Phaedra had a whole bunch of snacks, and she brought some wine. Then Tracy came out, and she brought her wine, her um, her whiskey uh, that, that she uh, uh, is in charge of, that she uh, is the face of, the, the uh, black cowboy whiskey. Um, and so they had that, and you know, Phaedra almost passed out talking about that. It's so strong. So they, had, so they, they did all of, of of the things they were not supposed to do. They had junk. They've been talking back. They had junk food and they had alcohol. So you know, so they all the ladies went to sleep. Tracy, since she snores, she decided to sleep on the couch. It was Nikki and Lunell to a room, and Natalie and Phaedra to a room. Um, so you know they was all sleeping and then the next morning he came in a banging trash cans like Tanisha on the bad girl's club. I ain't get no sleep cause of y'all. Y'all not gonna get no sleep cause of me. Wah, wah, wah. You know acting a fool. <laughs> Ludell was just like look at him. What the hell he got on? He acting a fool. Looking a fool. He had on some kind of little it was a bag or something but he had on shorts underneath but it looked like he had nothing on. Um, some kind of tribal stuff. I swear, Doctor Takaya is more hype than anybody in the room. Um, he came in a bang of trash cans, and then, which was crazy to me, they left the alcohol out on the table. I'm just like, y'all know this man's rules. Y'all know he is a bat, bat shit crazy, and like. How are you going to leave the evidence out? Like, who who wasn't smart enough to clean up, like, the evidence? Like, come on. You know you're not supposed to have this stuff. I would have been so clean. That shit would have been spotless when he came in there. They just left the alcohol all out, child. Maybe that was just for the show. I'm just like, I would think that you could obviously see this alcohol still out. You know this against the rules. You can put it back in the bag. That messed up everything for the rest of the day. So... The ladies got up and they actually um, started a, a little boxing class. Um, you know, it was cute to see all of them uh, boxing. Phaedra actually almost broke a nail. But she was just like, oh no child, I got to get up and put some gel on this. So she went back to the room and saw Dr. Takaya. Um, he was in her room and he was in, you know, everybody's room. But it was just her clothes and everything just spread out on the floor. And Phaedra was mad as hell about that. And I would have been too. She was just like, now look, I didn't sign up for this. I know this is a show. Um, but him going through all my stuff and I don't even know him. He could he could be crazy or anything like that. Like, I mean, we know he's crazy. But he could be a, a, a thief or any damn thing. I don't like him going through my personals. Which is true. Um, and all the ladies actually talked to Dr. Sakai about that. It was just like, how are you going through our personals and stuff that's not right? Natalie was kind of the peacemaker she was just like look I know that we violated your rules however you know and I'm sorry for that do you apologize for going through my stuff and then he went on ahead and apologized so you know they was okay after that but you know still it's just like damn why you got to go through my stuff but see they also kind of brought that on themselves you know you know, just follow these, this man's rules, child. You getting publicity and you getting paid for it. Just do what you're supposed to do. 
But you know it was funny. It was. Um okay. Let's see. Okay. And he also said something very interesting that I didn't know. Dr. Takaya said that every time you drink alcohol, it, it slows down your liver from burning fat. And I was just like, well, that makes sense, child. I guess. Um, Let's see. So, the last scene was they actually got to the um, the crucible or whatever it's called. Um, little obstacle course. Instantly, they saw what they had to do. And which he didn't make them do, like, everything. All they had to do was walk up a steep hill. Now, the, the hill was very, very steep. Um, they was mainly just worrying about, you know, falling back. Which, you know, what is a possible thing. But luckily, they did it as a group. And they made it up there. The two people that did not try the hill was Nikki and Lunell. But Phaedra, Tracy, and... Um, Natalie, they all did it and, you know, went up there and it took them a while. Um, they had to help each other out, but you know, it was, it was nice to see. Tracy said she's finally ready to talk to her sisters, etc. Um, so I'm assuming this whole little fitness camp, I guess this is just the first episode of it. I'm assuming it's going to be more episodes of it. Um, I hope so. You know, because, you know, they ain't lose no weight in this damn amount of time, child. Um, so we shall see hopefully you know everybody participates and just learns to like push themselves a little bit more um so it's, it's gonna be interesting but so entertaining so funny so funny i don't know braxton's i don't know i don't know what's going on i don't know it's just we just got to wait it out and see child with the girls and with that said i'm mr chala mr chala la <laughs> Mr. Chalaki on Google Plus. Follow me at It's Kings World on Instagram and Twitter. At It's Kings World 89 on Snapchat. Chase King on Facebook. All that good stuff. Like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys later. Bye bye. Brooks and Family Values. And Phaedra.